Hey guys, it's Precious Kishana here, and today we're with my little sister. Yes, we're leaving her game, headed back to Queens. Mommy's gonna go away for two days, okay? Two days? Yeah. I really want your back door. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Precious Kishana. I know, don't call me all at once. It's been a long time. This is your channel. Yeah, it's my channel. Well. As for the title of this video, y'all see, I am going mommy, away to New York for 48 hey, hours. One second, let me talk to them and then I'm gonna let you talk, okay? Hey, mommy. Yes. You say wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay, shh. One second. Breaking the news to her, and I thought I'd do it on camera because it's kind of a bittersweet. I kind of feel heartbroken inside. Since she was born, she's been taking flights with me, so this is my first time. I think our first time away from each other, period. Uh, I don't think we've ever been apart. If anything, I would go out and then come back and get her. And mommy. But that's about it. So Cherry, <laughs> say hi. Hi. We missed them? Yes. So in her hair, I did some little plaits, turns so they could see. <laughs> I just moisturized it and we did it. <laughs> Wait, you can't see your hair. So I moisturized them and just retwisted them. She has moving scalp. <laughs> And I just realized that was a thing because I would braid her mm -hmm. hair and her hair will always end up. <sighs> and her hair would always end up breaking out and it's because I'm pulling it thinking that, oh, it's not straight or it's not tight hey, enough mommy. and really her scalp is just mommy, moving. you pulling it? Yeah, I was showing it. But yeah, so chair, mommy's going to go away for two days, okay? Two days? Yeah, I'm going to leave you. You're going to stay with grandma, auntie Nigel, and papa, okay? I know you want to go with me, but you can't go with me. Mommy's going to go really quick and come back, okay? Mommy's going to go for two days. Mommy, where are you going? I'm going to go to New York. Look, God, Mommy. Go and go, Mommy? Yeah. What is fun? We're going out for Uncle Nate's girlfriend's birthday. Uncle Nate's birthday? Yeah, his girlfriend's birthday. We're going to go out. And it's for big kids, not for little kids. So you're going to stay here with Grandma, okay? Oh, why? Because it's not for little kids. It's not for little kids? No, it's only for big kids, okay? So it's I'm going to come back, all right? It's for big kids? Yeah, it's for big kids. So I'm going to call you on the phone, right? And then I'm going to come back in two days, okay? Okay. So when you wake up in the morning, you're not going to see Mommy, okay? <laughs> why do you hold the camera? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Why are you holding the camera? That's good. Okay, you're holding it. You gotta hold it like that so they can see you. Okay. Huh? You gonna be sad? No. You gonna miss mommy? Yes. I miss you too, but I'll be back, okay? Okay. Alright, so. Mommy! Now I'm about to pack and get ready. I need to, um, I laid my hair down earlier, but I didn't really go into debt to mommy, flatten it and everything, mean? so mommy. I'm about to, hey, mommy. yes baby, I didn't hold the camera. one second, so I did her hair to get it out of the way so nobody has to worry about doing her hair, when I'm gone, her grandma's gonna take good care of her, she already text, she already told me, she's like, and you better not blow up my phone for chair, cause you know, every minute I'll be texting, is she okay, did she do this, do that, but it's okay, it's good for both of us. So I'm out to let her go and play. I need to start packing and getting stuff ready. Mommy had made uh, steam fish. What'd you call it steam? I don't know, she did it in the oven with foil. But she had made fish. So I'm about to just put the fish in the oven to warm up and make some fresh rice to go with it. That's gonna be dinner. Uh, the only thing I need to do is my feet. So I'm gonna give myself a pedicure once dinner's finished. And then I need to pack, I didn't pack. But yeah, so I'm bringing you guys along with the journey. Your girl is back. I know. I know. I know. Sometimes life happens. I have clips from the two months that I was gone. So comment down below and let me know if y'all just want me to put it in one video. So y'all can see a recap. I can do that for y'all. But yeah, she's getting rid of it. So I'll check back in with y'all in a little bit.
between me and you. I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. 'Cause the love you give, it can't be replaced. So go now. Guys, I feel so weird traveling by myself after three years of having Cherry. She's been on place with me every day. Not every day, but every time I pull out, she was with me. I'm by myself. It just feels weird as hell. So weird. I am starving. I'm in love with my head. Y'all, I fell asleep on the plane. My head was knocking so bad. I thought like my head was gonna fall off my shoulder. I was so tired. You have to give me a neck pillow because it was really, really bad. I'm gonna get away. Yo, guys, last, last. Now everybody go to the now look. just checking in so we got from the airport I got out at like 1140 it took us about an hour to get back to the house brunch is at 3 o'clock so I had enough time to run inside curl up my hair again I sprayed it this time I'm gonna leave it until I'm getting out because I at least want to get pictures of it because it looked really cute curl but yeah we about to head to Jersey it's a little brunchy brunch then you had to stop to get lashes because the lashes ain't lashing no more so she gotta put on some on the way A little pre game, honey lemonade, bless it. But I'm gonna check back in with y'all when we get there. Don't cry, yo. I need to go. 
book him for all your events all summer 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 summer, summer 22 summer 2022 book me taking all bookings look at that nice and seasoned Some of them pieces were real big. Here they are. I couldn't even cut it because the bone was so big. Huh? So when did they all go? 
Ooh, that's I see Zion and Shay. Is that Nate? No, Nate not in jeans. Where did they go? Yeah, we ended up in the casino. Don't ask me how. It's my first time here. But I put in $20 and I'm coming out with $55 and that's all I meant. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday. What do you say? I am so thirsty. Like the next morning, when you wake up after drinking, first of all, it's that nasty taste in your mouth. I had to go straight and brush my teeth. I couldn't even do nothing else. And I'm drinking this lemonade. I really need some water because I'm really dehydrated. The AC is on. I'm not sure if it's loud and you guys can hear it. If so, I'm really, really sorry. But to recap from yesterday. So I got off the plane. Like I got outside like 1140. The traffic was so crazy. It took us an hour to get from LaGuardia Airport back to the house. So we get back to the house now. It was like, it was minutes to four. I mean four. It was minutes to one o'clock. So luckily I had did my makeup already at home. I did my makeup at home, so I didn't have that to worry about at all. So I had just came and recurled my hair, rotted it up. See, I had seen a clip of my hair rotted up. And then by the time I did that, I figured out what I really wanted to wear because I brought a bunch of stuff because I really didn't know like what the vibe was. Because you know when everybody's going out, you want everyone to dress in unison. Like you don't want nobody to be overdressed or blah, blah, blah. So I brought that so you can just figure out the vibe will be and everybody was in shorts so i went with jean shirts and a crop top so that was a super plus and i'm glad i bought them because i was like two seconds from not bringing it because i'm like oh jean shirts is just so blah but jean shirts and a crop top i look so cute but i did gain weight so like the booty part my ass kept hanging out my booty just kept hanging out of the thing, the shorts. So I'm like, good thing Brunch did not work out because I would have been sitting the whole time. Acting like I'm bougie or something. So, anyways, yeah, that was that. Um, my mom will be proud of me because I think she hates the way that I do my baby hairs. She low-key hates it, and she doesn't want to say that. <laughs> but she told me to come out and then swoop it. So I think that looks better. I said it with the way that I've been doing it, but I did it out, and I swooped it. So I think that's better. Well, oh, yeah, let me tell you guys. So we on our way to brunch or whatever. We said we was going to leave it at 1.30. We left out a little bit after, and that's only because who we was going to pick up wasn't answering yet. And when they finally did answer, we headed out. So we got to them. I believe it was two o'clock if not two around two o'clock so we got to them around two we headed out when reservation was for three o'clock but it was in new jersey so when we checking out everybody getting estimated times of arrival nobody was going to be there for three o'clock everybody was going to be there for 3 30. so nate called the place to see if they would still see us if we were late one would we still be able to do it and to see if he can actually change it from 3 to 3 30 so he calls he, he was like yeah they said that it's at 3 30 now so we're like all right but 
even if we struggle to find parking we're gonna be there on time we'll be there like 3 35 ish but at least everybody will be there around 3 30 because some some places don't like to sit you unless the whole party there or majority of the party there you gotta have like one or two people missing maybe but majority of everybody gotta be there so 329 now nate calling back and he's like oh they said brunch ended at 3 30 so i'm like how in the world did they let us i'm like even if we were on time for three o'clock if brunch ends at 3 30 how in the world did they even let us initially make that reservation for 3 30 to so what we was gonna do brunch for 30 minutes because brunch is not supposed to be 30 minutes first of all an hour and a half is supposed to be bottomless drinks and that's the whole reason that everybody prefers brunch because you're gonna drink 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 for an hour and a half two hours bottomless drinks so and then i'm like that's one two we switched the reservation to 3 30. at that point when it was switched to 3 30 how did they even switch why did they switch it in the first place why did they allow us to switch it not say that it can't be switched why did they like i had so many wives so many wives because <laughs> what they would have told us if we got there at three o'clock and brunch in at 3 30. they would have given us 30 minutes of and we paying for like it just wasn't clicking to me it really wasn't clicking and i was me and the girl girls and guys was really upset because I did that to us. What did we ever do to deserve that? So then we came up with the plan. Everybody was starving, so we ended up going to Chick fil A to eat Chick fil A. Once we had Chick fil A, we went in Walmart because um, we said we were just going to have a barbecue back at Kate House. Kate is the birthday girl that we were celebrating. We said we were just going to have a barbecue back at her house and do it that way. So. Nobody had no bathing suits from trucks or nothing. And I was tight because in my mind, I'm like, I should just bring one of my bathing suits just to bring it. But I'm like, where would I go? I'm not going to no pool, nothing. Because I had just ordered some cute ones off of Shein too. But don't worry, when I get back home, I'll wear them. We'll go to the pool or something. So we had to go to Walmart to get trunks and bathing suits and everything. And then we got ribs, chicken, food to cook. As y'all saw, I was seasoning the food. And we just held a vibe, drinks and hookah. It was really a vibe, it was nice. It turned out really nice. Uh, they've been partying all week for her birthday, so it kind of worked out. Cause a lot of them looked like they were over drinking for the week. So at the house you could drink as much as you could drink. Nobody ain't gonna push you to drink more. So that was the vibe. And, yeah. and then we were just sitting there chilling Danny had work this morning, so we was like, oh, we're not going to overdo it. And then Nate had a game in Brooklyn. So, we was like, we're not going to do too much. Out of nowhere, randomly, Kate went, took a nap on us, woke up, and she's like, let's go to the casino. So, everybody was like, all right, bet. Like, nobody second guessing nothing. But then we was like, we only doing a $40 limit. Like it's only gonna be a forty dollar limit. So we went to the ATM. I pulled out forty dollars. Everybody pulled out their forty dollars. Go, mind you. I don't know what I was doing. I think I did catch clips of it. Y'all might see it because I think I was recording. I don't remember, but we def was um, at the casino. So out of my forty, I only ended up putting in twenty. And when I put in that 20, I had hit. And I think at one point I was at like $79 off of that $20. And then we was playing, playing, playing. And then it was like, nah, I'll pull it out, pull it out. So I pulled out at 55. So out of my 20, I profit 35 off of it. And we just done. And that's just how you gotta do it. I never been to the casino before, but I know once you hit, don't keep trying to go. Because that's how you mess up. So I pulled out at that. Danny put in, I think Danny ended up putting in her whole 40. And I think the first 20 she lost it or so. And then she went again with her next 20. And then she had hit 
a hundred. So out of her forty, she pro she left out with a hundred. So she profited sixty off of it. And I don't think anybody else. <laughs> okay. Oh, Louis too. Louis had played, but he lost. So he put in his forty and he ended up leaving with thirty. So he lost ten. And I don't remember everybody else's numbers, but everybody was ready to go. <laughs> So it was a nice little vibe. I'm about to go see my dad. Last, last time I came to New York, I didn't um, stop by and see him. And he is not letting go of that. So this visit, I said I'm definitely going to make it my best interest to stop by and go see him. So I got up, I'm gonna organize myself, and then I'm going to go over there and hang out with him until Danny get off. And then I'm going to see what we're going to get into. My flight is for 6 o'clock in the morning. Oh, I need to set my alarm so I don't forget. But yeah, I just wanted to update y'all on everything so I can understand the flow of events. But it definitely was a vibe. First time away from chair, so it definitely, um, it was feeling weird at first. Definitely feeling weird at first, but now I see why. A good break is needed sometimes to recoup, refresh. You can miss your kid, your kid can miss you. I know she missed me like crazy, I miss her too. But I am enjoying my little breaky break. Shout out to my mom for keeping her, even suggesting it because when I was looking at flights, I definitely was looking at flights for both of us. Mom was like, <clears throat> Leave her, I'll take good care of her. You can leave her. I'm like, Since you put it out there. No doubt, no doubt. So yeah. But I'll check back in with you guys probably when I'm at my dad's house. I need to go get some water. All this talking and I'm dehydrated. So we'll get a full bottle of water, so I'll check back in with you guys. This little long maxi dress. So the Uber is three minutes away, so can we go outside? Because I'm gonna try to take a little quick selfie before it arrives. And my curls drop. <laughs> so I'll be back. All I did was put on lashes and a little concealer and powder under my eye. That's my new go-to in this summer heat because it is too hot. Okay. Uh, 
Pass it back. Oh, Charlie. Oh, and one. That's what's up. <laughs> Karen! Karen, the score is wrong! Okay. Oh, thank you. Good pass, good pass. Right here, call for it. Ariel, watch your back door. Yeah. Yeah, good thing she fell, but the back door was wide open. She could have watch it. <laughs> He did. 
We, he did, and you said it clearly. Don't get the regular thing. <laughs> Guys, I am driving. I just dropped my brother off to work at the mall. My father has the key. Good morning, guys. Now it is Monday, June 27th. We're making it to the end of our vacation. Yesterday when I was at the basketball game. Alright, so yesterday I went over to my dad. We had the intention to just hang out because he thought he didn't have nothing to do. But then shortly before I arrived, my little sister actually said she had a basketball game. So we had went to her basketball game out in Brooklyn. It was nice because it was my first time seeing her play in person. And she was hype. But they did good they have a really good team it was really cool and so i'm into it catching footage and just chilling vibing i get this text message and you know when you got your ear pot in your ear sometimes it would read it but then it was like number 2622 or something it sent a very long message so i'm like what, what what's going on with the flight now when i check my phone I read it to y'all It said, we're sorry to let you know we've canceled flight blah, 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 from New York to Houston because of a crew-related scheduling disruption. We will let you know when you have been rebooked or you can rebook your flight or view other flight options here. So at this point, I started freaking out because I, I don't already spoke to Cherry and I'm like, oh, when you wake up, you want to see mommy, I'm coming. And I booked it for early morning so I would have been able to spend the day and just chill. But it didn't work out like that and I canceled so I clicked the link where it said that you could rebook here so I'm going I'm looking and I seen the next one's like for 11 o'clock so I'm like all right boom I'm gonna catch that one but there's no service like all of a sudden the service is just being real walky and out of whack so then I um clicked it just buffer 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 and then when I finally went to confirm flight it said that it's already been booked up somebody took it so then I went looking again and then I seen one for 3 p.m. and I said, all right, let me do this one. Buffering, buffering, buffering. But I was able to successfully get that one. I was like, I bet. Perfect. And then I kind of missed, like, the ending of the game because I was freaking out. Like, I'm like, I don't want to get stuck. Like, I need to be out of here today. Today, today. So that went through, and I was happy about that. Then after we met the uh, New York, I mean, New York, we went back to Queens. I was waiting for Danny to finish so we could um, link up or whatever. And when she finished work, she had came and scooped me. The intentions, because it was still fake early. I think it was like 4.30, 4 or 4.30 or whatever. So we're like, all right, the day's still early. We can like go somewhere and hang out. We laid in the bed. We was waiting for Nate to come back home. By the time Nate got home, it was a wrap. <laughs> like, we was laying out watching the music awards. Danny then fell asleep. <laughs> Make girlfriend she went and laid down i ain't see her again i was like yeah we ain't going nowhere but i was just up chilling um we was just up chilling relaxing me and her mom we finished up well we ain't finished it all the way but we got to a good decent part i think the last part i actually watched watch was probably when um diddy whole performance and then that whole speech situation just took me out of it because i'm like what like like the whole contribution that Kim I get that she was a very significant part of his life I'm like that's really sweet it actually had me all teary eyed or whatever but then when he shouting out everybody everything and my boys say yo Cassie I'm like now you know you could have left that one out like I get it she was there for you in dog times I get it but come on now I feel like that was a bit much but yeah, we're getting down to the end of the road. It's 11.55, so I'm about to shower. I'm not doing my makeup, I can tell you that much. I'm not doing my makeup. Fresh face, fresh, fresh, fresh face. I got the fresh face, and I'm putting on a mask anyway, so. 
I'm gonna just shower. I need some pants on me because I haven't eaten. I've just been laying here relaxing and enjoying the no kid life with a few hours left. <laughs> but yeah, I get out of here. It was a nice little weekend. I did enjoy my time. Definitely was a vibe. Um, more people wanted to see me this time because usually I come to New York, I don't see much people. More people wanted to see me, but it didn't work out that way. So maybe next time, but I'll check back out with y'all. Hey guys, so this is actually the very next day. I just wanted to come in and close out the vlog. Before I go to the edit it, I just clocked out of work. <laughs> Today just felt so long getting back into the groove, but I made it. Uh, yesterday, Charis was stunned to see me. I didn't even get to record it or anything. We just bonded and spent time together. It was just bittersweet. Izzy ran to me. All the kids was happy to see me. Everybody was happy. And we was just hanging out and chilling, so I didn't even pick up the camera. Um, my hair is fake oily. I kind of want to wash it out and take it out because I was using the wax stick a lot right here. So it's like really gunky. So it's not falling the way that it was falling before. It is Houston Carnival this week. I'm wondering if I should take it out and just redo it because I didn't even braid my hair underneath. I put it in a ponytail and it's the worst thing when I do that because my hair just started drying up in the back. So I probably end up just pulling it off and re putting it back on in the morning, like just letting it wash or whatever. But anyways, um, yesterday was just a mess. I didn't even finish picking up the camera and recording. We was rushing to the airport because the traffic was just crazy like new york traffic is just out of pocket they need to get more highways something i don't know the traffic is just ridiculous out there so he's rushed to the airport finally got there then i sat down at the gate mind you i already told y'all that my original flight was canceled so when i sat down i hear them saying gate 47 is canceled i see everybody running to go to the customer service to try to get another flight so i get up i'm running i'm going because that's my gate coming to find out they meant to say flight 47 47 i'm like that's a big old difference and a big old mistake so i was about to have a fit like i need to get home <laughs> like i need to get home i'm not trying to be stuck i'm not trying to use no more pto i'm not trying to spend more time away from my baby i need to get home so anyways we got home it was bad rain in new york and then it was bad rain in texas it was on and off so what it was doing was delaying flights in new york and then delaying flights in texas so while we was on a plane i got a notification like um due to the weather conditions it's not much space to depart or come in to the airport so when we got there i did catch a clip of that they had put down one of those staircase thing we basically was in the bottom of the airport and we had to walk and find our way and i was lost for the longest trying to find my way back up <laughs> like it was just a mess but i finally did end up finding my way but i'm just gonna close out this video here remember i told y'all comment down below let me know if y'all want to see all that content that i had for y'all from before for all that time i was gone because so i could put it together probably in a video or two and get that out to y'all but i gotta comment down and let me know if y'all want to see it or not because if not we can continue back to regular program like nothing happened but i am excited to be back it's been a long time I do want to thank you guys so much for rocking with me. The subscriber count, the views count, everything just kept increasing while I was gone. So I'm really rocking with y'all. That's rocking with me. This hair is actually from, um, I can't say the name right. I don't want to mispronounce it. I'm going to put it on the screen and I'm going to also comment it down below. But this hair is probably going to be my go-to wig because it finally is the color that I've been trying to achieve for the longest now. It's been a lot of trial and error, but I finally did get the color and I'm just loving it, okay? It's not so thick. I did add about three tracks in the middle to give me that fullness look that I wanted to get. So if you're expecting it to be this thick, it's not going to be this thick. It was a decent length, but for me, I just like thick because my natural hair is thick, okay? But yeah. I probably end up taking this off, washing it, because I, I know y'all see the shine and the stiffness. I need to just wash it off and reinstall it so it can give what it's supposed to give. But in the meantime, in between time, I'm about to go in this kitchen and whip up dinner real quick. So I'm going to check back in with y'all in a little bit. Bye.